This is the Bernina boys again. We're gonna go through and show you a little bit about the Bernina E16. Right now I'm gonna show you how to take the hook out and I'm gonna show you how to check the timing. Everything you're gonna do here, all the tools come included with your E16 kit. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the lower hook cover on the open arm. There's two screws right down here. Both these are the two millimeter Allen screws. I'm just gonna sit them in my base. Next thing, just for ease of seeing, I'm gonna take off the needle plate. For that, I use the 2.5 millimeter Allen screw. Now we have a good access so that we can see our hook. So to check our hook timing, I'm gonna take my bobbin case out and then I'm gonna to go to the computer. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down here and click the settings or the gears button. Then I'm gonna click the settings or the gears button again. And then I'm gonna to go to, this is gonna to go to the OS system. So I'm going to click that. Now we're opened up in our Bernina OS. I'm going to click Tools, Maintenance, Head Timing. And then we're going to just click Hook Timing. It's automatically going to bring the hook into the timing position and then we're going to check it. So when we click head timing, it's gonna move the hook to its perfect in time position. And let me show you what we're looking at here. The tip of the hook needs to set right at the left side of the needle. Now we're gonna bring it in for a little closer view. So just for the demonstration, I'm pulling off the hook basket stop so you can see a little better what we're talking about. We've moved the hook basket out of the way so that we can see closer. But here's the tip of our hook and here's the left side of our needle. We put a feeler gauge on it, we can feel it touching right at the left. Now I'm gonna show you how to remove your hook. So, I'm gonna click our head up again. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the emergency stop button. Now the machine's not gonna hurt us. If you look back here, there are two sets of screws. One on the collar and one behind. We're gonna loosen these three screws. Now that I have them loose, I can pull my hook right out. Make sure this little set key stays in place. From here we can check and inspect our hook for damage. No damage here, nothing bent or damaged here. This is a brand new hook, brand new machine, so there's no damage shown at all. 
Now, the nice thing about this is because it has this set key right here, lines up with this, you can take the hook out and not get the machine out of adjustment. A hook will only go in one way. Slide it all the way back. And then you're gonna slowly tighten all three hook timing screws and don't crank any of them down yet. Just slowly tighten each one and then you can crank down all three. You don't want the hook to get wobbly or off center by just cranking one down at a time. Now that that's on, we can unclick our red button, re-click head up on the computer, and we can put our hook stop in place. Put our hook stop in place. We align the hook stop to be right on the hook basket. We take our two set screws. And we start them. And now we need to set the spacing. In your kit, you have a little tool like this. And this is to set the spacing on your hook basket. What you do is this slides forward and back. And you're gonna just take it and position the finger in between the hook stop and the basket. And you're gonna come over here and tighten one of the screws, making sure that this fits in just fine. Now that that's in there, our spacing is set correct. And we can tighten both screws. Now that that's done, we can go ahead and reinstall our needle plate. Taking the two screws and screwing them almost all the way in. Making sure there's a tiny little bit of play. And then we're going to click hook timing again. Now we're going to position this plate and making sure that the needle is in the direct center, both left to right and front to back. Once we see that it's in the center, we can tighten our screws. Now we can go ahead and reinsert our lower hook cover. Now we're reassembled. We can click our head up button. Voila.